Hello and welcome to English Peak. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content. The Secret Key Ava woke with the sun and started her day as usual. She took a shower, got dressed and had breakfast, some toast and coffee. Ava lived alone in a small apartment in the city. She worked as an assistant at a law firm downtown. As Ava left her apartment to catch the bus to work, she noticed an envelope on the floor by her door. It was white with no writing on it. That's strange, I wonder who left this here, she thought. Ava picked up the envelope and opened it. Inside was a single key and a small note that said you will understand soon. Be careful. Ava was confused. Who left this key and note for her? What did it mean she needed to be careful? As the bus pulled up, Ava put the envelope and its contents in her bag to think about later. She had to get to work. At the office, Ava tried to focus on her work, but she couldn't stop thinking about the strange envelope. During her lunch break, Ava pulled it out again to examine the key and note more closely. The key had no markings on it so she had no idea what lock it might open. The note gave her an uneasy feeling. Why would someone want her to be careful but not explain why? After work, Ava decided to stop by the police station on her way home to ask about the mysterious key and note. However, when she got there she lost her nerve. What if the police couldn't help her or even thought she was wasting their time? With no clues as to where the key belonged or who left it, Ava decided to go home and hope that more would become clear later. When Ava arrived at her apartment, she noticed that her door was slightly open. Her heart raced as she slowly pushed the door open further. Everything seemed normal, but she had definitely locked her door that morning. Had someone been in her apartment? Ava's first thought was that this must be connected to the strange key somehow. She began searching her small home carefully, looking for any signs of an intruder or anything else out of place. Everything appeared untouched except in one place her bedroom drawer was now open. Ava never left that drawer open and she was sure it had been closed this morning. With shaking hands, Ava slowly pulled open the drawer further. Inside, propped up against the back, was an envelope just like the one she had received that day. Only this envelope had writing on the front, it said, read me. Ava's heart pounded as she took out the envelope and opened it with trembling fingers. Inside was a letter. Dear Ava, I'm sorry for alarming you, but it was important that only you find this letter. You are in danger and people are after something belonging to you. I cannot explain more here for your own safety. The key I left with the first note will open a storage unit, Unit 12 at Smith Storage on 5th Street. Go there now and you will find answers. Hurry and be cautious, you are being watched. A friend. Ava's mind raced with questions and fear. What could she possibly have that someone else wanted badly enough to break into her home? And who was this friend who claimed to be helping her? Only one thing was clear, she needed to get to that storage unit, and fast. Grabbing her bag and keys, Ava hurried out of her apartment and toward the storage facility, 
glancing around nervously as she went. When she arrived, she saw that the entire place appeared deserted. It was getting late. Ava located Unit 12 and with shaking hands, inserted the key. She took a deep breath to steady her nerves before pulling open the door. Inside, it was dark until Ava found the light switch on the wall. She gasped as the unit lit up it was filled from floor to ceiling with books. Ava stepped closer and examined some of the titles they were old history books, some about her own city. Why would books be the answer or cause of any danger? As Ava searched through confused, one book near the back caught her eye and had her last name printed on the spine in faded gold letters. Her hands trembling, Ava pulled out the book and opened the cover. Taped inside was another envelope addressed to her. To be continued. Ava read at the end of the short note. Now more questions than answers, Ava realized she was in deep and whatever this mystery was, it was only just beginning. She took a photo of the page with her name to study later and carefully replaced the book, turning off the light before leaving Unit 12 and locking it behind her. Ava knew this secret was hers to solve now, but she had no idea of the unbelievable discoveries and dangers still ahead. Ava's mind raced as she left the storage unit. She had more questions than ever but at least now had a small lead the book with her last name inside. Ava decided the safest thing now was to go straight home, so she hurried to catch the next bus. On the trip, Ava pulled out her phone to photograph the page inside the book again for closer study. Under the bright screen, she noticed very faint writing she had missed before. Using zoom and brightness, Ava could just make out a series of numbers scribbled underneath in faded ink. It must be an address of some kind. When Ava arrived home, she locked the door and pulled her laptop to research what she had found. She searched for the address and was shocked by what appeared. It was an old mansion just outside the city that had been abandoned for decades. Rumors said it was haunted or cursed. Why would this mysterious book lead her there? Curiosity and the need for answers growing, Ava decided she had to check out the mansion the next day. But first, safety in numbers. She called her friend Samantha to explain her strange dilemma and asked if she would go along, not telling all the fearful details. Samantha agreed to meet early and drive together. The next morning, the two young women headed out of the city following Ava's notes. When they arrived, the Gothic mansion was even more imposing up close. Boarded windows stared down like hollow eyes. Ava and Samantha approached cautiously, finding the door unlocked as if expecting them. Exchanging nervous glances, they stepped inside. The foyer was dark and cobwebbed, echoing their footsteps. Ava called out trembling, but no answer came. Suddenly, a creak above made them jump. They had to find out what secrets this house held about Ava's past. Bravely, they began exploring the dilapidated rooms, unaware of danger lurking in the shadows. Ava and Samantha cautiously made their way up the creaky staircase, calling out periodically but hearing nothing in return. The thick dust on the steps showed they were likely the first visitors in many years. The first room they searched was empty except for a large portrait hanging crookedly on the wall. 
Ava brushed cobwebs away and gasped. The aristocratic couple staring back were clearly her ancestors from long ago. This confirmed her family must have lived here once. As they moved on, Ava stumbled upon an old journal half buried under debris. She carefully blew the dust away and cracked it open. The faded handwriting documented daily life in intricate detail, even mentioning a ball held to celebrate Ava's ancestor's daughter's 16th birthday. A strange symbol was doodled throughout a bird in a circle. Suddenly, a thunderous crash downstairs made them drop the book in fright. Had the old house become unstable? They rushed to check but found the front door hanging open with no one in sight. A trick of the wind or something more sinister? Heart racing, Ava spotted a glimmer under a cabinet and pulled out an antique brass key, identical to the first one that started this mystery. Only one room remained unchecked the attic. They climbed the precarious ladder, switching on lights to reveal. Ava and Samantha gasped at what they found in the dusty attic. Lined up against one wall under years of grime were rows and rows of old books and journals, just like in the storage unit. It seemed this was where her ancestor's library had been kept. Ava moved closer to inspect the battered spines, the attic lights suddenly flickered and died, plunging them into complete darkness. Samantha screamed and they gripped each other in fear. From downstairs came strange shuffling and scrapped noises, as if something was dragging itself towards the attic stairs. What do you think it is? Samantha whispered trembling. Before Ava could answer, her foot kicked something metallic across the floor with a clang. She swung her phone light down to reveal the object was an old lantern. Ava grabbed matches from her bag and lit the lantern with shaking hands, filling the attic with a ghostly glow and the flickering light, they scanned the rows of books feverishly. Ava's heart leapt when she spotted a faded title, The Genealogy of the Ravenmark Family. She blew years of dust away to reveal her own surname printed on the leather binding. At the same time, Samantha called out in a shaky voice from across the See what I found. Her friend was standing above a trapdoor in the floorboards they hadn't noticed before. With dread, Ava joined Samantha and together they pried open the creaky hatch, shining the lantern down into inky blackness below. Whatever was down there, it held the final secrets to Ava's past and the mysteries plaguing her. Were they strong enough to face the darkness to find the truth? To be Ava and Samantha steeled their nerves and descended the rickety ladder into the shadowy cavity below. By lantern light, they could see it was more of a tunnel that stretched away into murk. A sudden swooshing noise made them jump. It was only their coats swaying in the disturbed dust. They inched forward cautiously, calling out but hearing nothing in return except their own echoes. Then, at the end of the tunnel, Ava's light fell upon a strange symbol carved into the dirt wall, the same bird in a circle doodled in her ancestor's journal. Beside it, something metallic glinted dully. Ava reached out and pulled a heavy iron chain from the wall. With a protesting screech, the entire back wall of the tunnel silently slid into the ground, revealing a hidden chamber beyond. She and Samantha lifted the lantern to gaze around in disbelief. Shelves of antique books and artifacts lined the shadowy space. In the center, illuminated by their light, was a portrait so identical to the one upstairs it could be the same model. But this painting had Ava's face instead of her ancestors. 
Beneath it, scrawled in ancient script, the Ravenmark bloodline continues. Eva gasped. Her whole life, her strange abilities and vivid family dreams now made sense. This revealed her true lineage went back centuries to a powerful bloodline protecting dark secrets. The ones chasing her must want her ancient birthright. But Ava now knew the truth and her destiny. And she would not let her lineage go into darkness 